Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for April the 1st through to the 15th. We are in Aries season. A lot of big planets, well Jupiter and Saturn still in your sign. So having a very uh, strong effect. So it's going to be a really powerful time for you guys over the next, well it already has been but yeah, it is a very, very powerful time for you and both for Leo, like your polar signs. So if you have any Leo as well, because I know a lot of people that might have like Aquarius sun, but they might have Leo moon or Leo ascendant as well or vice versa. And it's kind of interesting because that's going to be uh, having quite a powerful effect on you at this moment in time. So speaking of Leo, we have judgment coming in. Scorpio, fire, Pluto, Leo. And it's funny because I was thinking, why am I talking about Leo in Aquarius? So, uh, but this energy has obviously come out and it's kind of interesting because it's come around again. Um, I just want to say a quickly Aquarius that this is a general reading, so just take what feels right. And if it, you'd like to see more, there will be an extended reading. The link will be in the description box below. So what I'm getting with this is that the, it's kind of like um, there's a motivation coming in. There's a new motivation. that it, This is not an old energy. It's visited you before in the past, but it's coming back again to be revisited, to be retransformed, well, retransformed, to be transformed. What I'm getting with this card Aquarius is I'm getting a tri a triangle so we can see the triangle here but I'm getting like a trine between Aquarius, Scorpio and Leo and you're all fixed signs and what I'm getting with this is that uh, this there's a lot of clearing of debris out around emotional detachment about wanting to just sit above an issue and not actually delve into it and uh, maybe maybe look uh, maybe connect to some energies or even people that could be related to Scorpio and Leo's that you didn't necessarily want to have to connect to but they're coming back because they're saying there is this deep emotional uh there's some deep emotions that are wanting your attention there's also a aspect of you that wants to shine out into the world and express itself there's a an expression of creativity and it's like these two energies have just been um they've been there you've known they've been there but it's like uh they've just been like you know sec playing second fiddle they haven't been given a lot of attention they haven't been given a lot and this can actually the, it's coming up to be cleared like these energies are wanting your attention and this is this can play out as internal energies it can play out as people in your life like siblings or you know if you have someone who's Scorpio and Leo that uh, you kind of just haven't been for whatever reason connecting to they can be coming back uh, because there's something to be learnt from that connection it's taking you out of that state of detachment and we have, look at this, the Pentacle 3, Venus, Capricorn, and we can see those three energies. There's something about the three energies coming, three energies coming together. It could be three siblings. It could be a third-party relationship, a third-party inner relationship. Uh, it's just interesting, and it can be about a group dynamic, a group energy, and how they're all working together, how you've all worked together how you've seen your value because some things have been undervalued absolutely and then we also have the high priest Taurus Venus and moon so we've got Venus coming in twice which is actually really interesting and the moon so um, there is this interesting energy and again Taurus is actually the other fixed sign that was coming in here so It's kind of looking at where you've been set in an idea or a way and something's coming back to be looked at. It's very highly intuitive energy coming through with that. It's about valuing your intuition uh, when it comes to 
the energy that you want to open yourself up to, the energy that you want to bring into your home or your sense of self-identity. So there's a lot to do with values here and it might be that you're dealing with a group of people, um, a group dynamic or some people in your life that you share very different values with. That's why it could be siblings, it could be just friends and I feel like there's distance between you. There's a sense of detachment. So that's kind of interesting, interesting. So the five of pentacles, that makes sense. It could be even feel issues of abandonment coming up around these people, um, that someone didn't make you feel valued or someone wasn't feeling valued. Uh, but this um, relationship with these three people, these three elements is still there and needs to be, yeah, overcome with the chariot. There's a challenge here that is being overcome. Absolutely. The nine of wands. The knight of wands. There's a positive change coming in here. The three of cups. So there might have been interesting the three again. So we've got the threes coming in and... Um, the three sided the threes can represent manifestation as well so it can be also I mean it can be related to three different people or like a pyramid kind of energy as well it could be a pyramid scheme for some of you but uh, it's also getting it could be that you're trying to manifest something in your life and there's elements that one element has been manifested really strongly but the other elements haven't um, with that three of cups I feel like that that is the catalyst there's been some sort of social event that has been the catalyst for all of this coming back up again and the eight of pentacles like it's like okay i understand now i need to work at this i need to commit to this i need to spend some time and energy with and something that i've neglected that if it's someone neglecting you or you neglecting someone it's really representing an area of your life that you've neglected and your home seems to be really important. It has something to do with relationships at home or your relationship to self as well. So interesting, interesting. Let's pull some more cards and then we'll look at this in a little bit more detail. So there could be a lack of trust around this or suspicion. Wow, the Empress. You are presenting as the Empress. <laughs> wow. Very magnanimous, very generous, very giving, very I'm going to offer my, very generous, like I said. The Emperor and the Empress have both come out. Wow. Okay. The Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, releasing that burden. And I want to um, pull a card around that. This has been something that's been uh, hanging around for a while. It's become almost like a burden. And I love the fact that the Nine of Wands is there's a realisation that you now need to let this go. The Page of Cups, interesting. So, And then at the base, the Seven of Wands, you are getting yourself in a much better position here. But whoa. Okay, let's the Emperor and the Empress coming in. Wow. Okay, so there's some interesting energies and in even the the um, actual card spread itself, it's got a couple of really, really powerful major arcanas and then some smaller energies. And it seems to be this power differential that we're dealing with in that some people may have hogged the limelight or some people may have hogged the energy or some energy may have taken all of the all of your attention and you haven't given it to something else. And so there's these very powerful players here as well coming in, um, but there's also some weaker energies that are underdeveloped, and that's what's coming in. It's time to develop some of those um, in under weaker energies or that haven't been, that have been neglected or have been um, un, just underdeveloped. So let's start with, I mean, the Five of Pentacles is all about lack uh, what's missing in your life. Uh, it can be not having enough money. It could be feelings of rejection, abandonment. It can be letting go of an old income stream, 
stream for some of you and an old way of making money and looking at new ways of making money. It can be related to times where you felt like you were kicked out or rejected or that you weren't allowed into something. Um, so whether this is a group or whether this is a home or whether this is like some sort of society expectation, whatever it is, it's something that you've been struggling with for a while with this chariot card. It's like it might have felt like you just can't overcome this feeling of not um, feeling like you belonged somewhere, really feeling like you didn't belong and um, feeling kind of on the outer, feeling very isolated from society and perhaps people didn't understand you. It's kind of got that energy that's coming through with it as well. And this nine of wands is kind of going look reluctantly, I realise that there's something attached to this that I need to let go of and I. this is in your conscious mind, you know, crowning you. It is a sense that uh, perhaps this is something that, yeah, I'm, I might be ready to let go of this, but it's something you're thinking about. Do I have the energy? Do I actually want it? Um, am I suspicious of this energy coming back again? Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, reluctance, a suspicion, but at the same time, yeah, feel like this is something maybe I might need to be doing something about it. And, you know, deep down you have this Knight of Wands, which is deep. This is the deep down energy that can be subconscious. It can be soul energy. It can just be an emotional energy because I'm kind of getting this is more of an emotion for you. But, I mean, it will, you will know what this is for you. But this Knight of Wands is I need to make a change here. I need to make a really positive change. Uh, I need to follow my passion. I need to follow what it is that I want I need to, um, yeah, take some action, take some very positive action. So, yeah, it, it is a sense that, um, yeah, with these very strong messages coming through around that. And it's interesting, the Three of Cups in the recent past, like this is something that I feel like this is a, could be a family social occasion or some sort of celebration that's occurred. Perhaps you weren't invited to it, which is why that Five of Pentacles has come up. Or perhaps it feels like everybody else is kind of out socialising and connecting and you're not feeling part of that. Or it could be that you did get that and you did feel part of it and it brought up these other things of, well, what other parts of my life haven't I? It kind of was a catalyst to look at where you've neglected this energy as well. Either way, it's presented that you're seeing um, other people's joy and connection and whether you're a part of that or not, it's set this catalyst in here um, to what's work, what's what's happened here. And there is this energy of... Commitment. I mean, we have the high priest here, which is actually the hierophant, and we have the eight of pentacles, which is commitment as well, a lovely Virgo energy. So very grounded. Uh, it's like, okay, I'll ground into this because there's the Capricorn energy as well. So now you've got the the uh, the earth energies all kind of like putting the pressure on. <laughs> this practical energy of reality, of material reality and resources and health even, something is kind of going, look, you you need to be looking at this. So interestingly, you have commitment here in the near future coming in uh, right underneath each other and it can be commitment to self, commitment to soul. This can be a, a, a sense of a push from soul energy that this is something we want you to be looking at. And the Eight of Pentacles, it can be related to work as well something you or it could be a commitment to work on this and have a look at this so whether it's a relationship whether it's trying to manifest something it's something underdeveloped that you're working on uh, but you're presenting as the empress and this is quite amazing you're presenting as the empress and this is venus and venus has come in twice so it's kind of like uh, but pluto is a stronger energy and it's come in and gone Yep, I know you've got, you know, this sense Venus is love. It's about your how you love. It's the things you love, material possessions. It can be relationships. And you're like going, I'm all good, you know. I've got, I, I'm the empress, you know. I'm feeling quite 
uh, like I said, magnanimous. I'm feeling very generous. I'm feeling like I've, uh, I'm feeling very like I'm full of everything that I need. And this, um, so it might be like, uh, yeah, I'm feeling all fine. I'm feeling all good. I'm feeling the abundance. I'm feeling quite abundant. But this judgment and Pluto energy comes back and goes, well, have a look at this. Look at this energy um, because, yes, you are presenting as the Empress, which is fantastic energy to come in, but it's saying you've got all this abundance, you're feeling abundant. What about this over here, this Leo and Scorpio energy, however that's presenting in your life? What about that? Because that now is wanting to expand and become abundant as well and become part of your universe. So the Pluto does transform things and it's a stronger energy. So it might feel like there's a stronger energy transforming your sense of self here uh, that is bigger than you. And that can also be like what, what's happening here. And it's kind of interesting that surrounding you have the emperor and this is the energy around you. And this is a very powerful Aries energy. I mean, we are in Aries season and we could be looking at powerful people like bosses um, a lot of this I feel like is to do with work um, or it, this could be you. You could be the boss um, or your relationship to power. It can also be parents, but it can also be just business and success. You know, it could be just there is success around you and there is abundance around you and it's kind of like, the universe is wanting to show you that there's even more that you could be bringing in as well. So it's kind of interesting energy with the emperor. And the emperor and the empress as, as well coming in, that can be a power couple coming through. So it could be a sense that a relationship is getting a big, just a little, well, it is a shake up, but it's like something gets cleansed and released and uh, there's just a momentary something is being transformed and in a relationship around um, themes of, yeah, not feeling understood or themes of rejection. So that's kind of interesting. And then we have as an outcome, and these are all potential energies, as you as you know, the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. And that, that's kind of interesting. We've gone straight from the nine to the ten. So it is letting go of something that had become a burden. And it may have been that almost um, what I'm getting with the Empress is that it could be that um, inflating yourself, making yourself seem bigger and better than what you are, um, putting on the happy face, the smile, I'm all good, I'm happy, I'm really successful, but it may be underneath you're not feeling that. Maybe there is this burden to live up to an expectation to be the Empress, to be this amazing person uh, that you're presenting as and... Um, yeah, I mean, this judgment energy just brings up stuff from the past to be cleared out. That's really what's happening with it. And so you, there could be very much a sense of um, a shake-up. Something's being karmically cleansed here. Um, but And it is helping you release that ten of wands, which is the burden, which could be about expectations, releasing expectations or having to live up to something or feeling like you had to fit into some sort of a mould of society's expectations or what it is you should be doing. And it could have also been, you know, with this five of pentacles, perhaps that in itself had become the burden. I mean, it's just, it will be unique for all of you what that thing that became the burden that's attached to that five of pentacles, because that could be, like you said, it could be anything, the old form of income. It could be um, a sense of feeling abandonment, not fitting in, but it can also be not having enough money, the stress of that. And so there's all sorts of things it can be releasing that because uh that's all being uh, it's kind of it's kind of like what they're showing me is it's like what they're showing me is that like it's like there's a table and you've cleaned all of it it's all looking buffed it's all looking fabulous you're looking like this the empress and then in comes the inspector to see if you've done a good job and just you know occasionally it might just be some random inspector that comes in and like the pluto energy and says you missed a spot there's a tiny spot there that you need to clean that bit up. And uh, you're like, oh, okay, I missed something. I need to re 
go back and re-clean it. And then it's suddenly this realisation of always having to have this perfect looking table actually becomes the burden in itself or having to live up to someone else, this inspector energy coming in and going, that's not good enough, you've missed something, that's not perfect, living up to this perfectionism almost um, or just some sort of expectation, like I said. Um, so... Yeah, this could be society in general, but like I said, whatever it is, it's a burden. But what's really lovely is we've got this page of cups right next to it, which is a surprise. Something surprising comes in, surprise offer, like surprise. And it could actually, I, I do feel like you're going to be taken by surprise and it could be related to these energies or these people. This could be someone that you haven't seen for a long while that you kind of just haven't spoken to for a while coming back or related to those energies that were ne felt neglected, felt like, uh, you know, I couldn't reach, I couldn't find a very deep emotional connection or I couldn't shine or, you know, in my career or in a job or I couldn't do that. Um, those kind of energies come back and surprise you and you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting you. And it's a happy surprise. It's like, Oh my gosh. So I do feel like there's a surprise offer coming in with this page of cups. Uh, and this can be an apology as well. This could be someone saying, look, I treated you so badly all those years ago. I'm really sorry. Um, it could be something like that. But it can also, this page of cups can be someone saying, hey, I really like you. Um, it can be an offer of love or let's, do you want to hook up? Do you want to meet up? Do you want to go on a date? Um, it can be anything like that. So, and it can be also a little creative surprise that uh, once you release this burden, it could be like a new creative idea coming in and going, ah, it, whatever it is, it's kind of like exactly what you needed. It's something very light that brings you out of that heaviness of the 10 of wands and you go, ah, oh, Okay. And once that happens, you're like, okay, now this energy of the judgment has moved. And I feel like it's very short lived. Okay. So this energy might only be two or three days. It will have a strong impact, but it could actually be longer than that. It could, but it, it's, um, I feel like you'll kind of be able to snap out of it really quick, quick, quickly and step back into being yourself and happy go lucky and not happy go lucky, but just, oh, okay, feeling lighter and, happier again. Um, so depending on your temperament. So ultimately what this is, is the seven of wands is getting yourself in a better position. Uh, and it might have been something you've given up on and kind of thought, well, I'm not going to bother with that. You know, I'm not good at that or I'm, you know, for whatever reason. And it's like, oh, yes, you are. Look at it. You can do this. It's very much an encouragement from the universe is saying, Perhaps you didn't make that emotional connection or perhaps you couldn't go deep. Perhaps it's related to study of astrology and the tarot. It could be, you know, the, the uh, you know, more mysterious arts, but it can also be, um, you know, it can be psychology. It can be anything. It could be just whatever it was. It's come back to go, hey, you know, you could actually be really good at that. And it could actually help you, um, you know, you're leveling up, you're finding yourself in a better position. So, yeah, I feel like there's this very strong encouragement from the universe here, which is really lovely, especially from your soul. Your soul energy is coming in very strongly as well. And wanting you to kind of feel safe in this, it's like a very safe, <laughs> short transit, visit of Pluto just going, bzz, 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 uh, transform that, okay, I'm off again. So it's kind of, I mean, Pluto in reality is is much longer transit, but that's just kind of the energy I'm getting from this reading. So what we have, there is no blame. <laughs> okay, and I feel like that this is related to some old conflict that's occurred. So there could have been the blame game could have been played. The silent treatment could have been played. The distance, the turning off, the detachment, all of that could, could have occurred with this energy. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We're all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge and awareness we have. And this one says, I listen with love to my body's messages. My body is always working towards optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole and complete. Interesting. Interesting. 
So, I mean, the Eight of Pentacles is a very Virgo energy and that is about connecting into your body. So it could be about health as well. Um, it could be a ma minor adjustment to health. Um, so, you know, it's kind of just got that energy to it. It could be anything, really, because it's, yeah. So let's pull an animal spirit energy for you, Aquarius. I feel like it's all good, though. It's all good. Just having to take another look at something. Okay, animal spirit energy for Aquarius. Wow, the phoenix, beautiful. And this is actually interesting because it is a Scorpio energy and very much attached to that judgment energy as well of, again, something that was dead in the water, something you thought was ashes, something you kind of thought was in the past long gone, something you just kind of thought that's kind of, you know, neglected, no energy, not interested, or it's a part of me that felt rejected and I haven't been able to develop it. It's ready to rise again. The it's something is rising. There's this Kundalini rising energy that is coming up to be healed and to be strengthened and to be activated now. So it's really fantastic energy coming through. And I feel like there is this element of surprise. I don't feel like there there's a... There might be initial like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. But then it's like, oh, okay. Oh, this could be really good. So, yeah, it's kind of got that energy to it as well, Aquarius. So fantastic. And the phoenix is um, energy of, you know, it's the firebird, but it's the energy of spirit and the fact that high priest is coming. It's very much spirit and soul are giving you a very um, strong nudge, <laughs> I would say, but it's a lot of support coming through with that. So let's finish it off with, oh, we've got a coin. What does it say? Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it's an English coin or Australia also has the same coin, um, which a lot of you will know. But, yeah, ultimately it's to do with money <laughs> quite literally and worth self-worth the fact we've got all that venus taurus that's got a lot to do with uh your money your worth and what this is transforming and uh, an element some energies in your life that haven't or a relationship in your life it can what is what they're saying is it's definitely to do with underdeveloped energies in your life but it may play out as people and oppositions to people or old conflicts. But either way, it's coming back to just give a little transformational shake out to your self-worth and to your money so that uh, so that it can give it a little boost, give it a little boost, give it a little something you can traject and um, sort of platform off. So that's really positive, really positive. And I love how that, that's come through for you. So, yeah, fantastic. The Page of Cups could even be a job offer. It, it's just an offer that is surprise and it does seem related to some sort of work or health here or home. So, yeah, that's it, Aquarius. I think it's it's kind of fascinating, fascinating little reading for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it over to the extended reading, the deep read, where we're going to pull some clarifiers for this and see what um, alternative narratives are happening um, always more to find out. There is find out more what's coming in the near future and the future beyond. We'll pull some more cards for that. And then we're going to focus in on career, money and love and relationships and pull some cards specifically for that. So I'd love it if you come over to the extended reading. The link is in the description box below. I usually pin it to the comments and just click on that. It will take you over to Vimeo. Uh, but if this is where we're leaving each other, Aquarius, yeah, I think this is going to be good. This is going to be good, unexpected, but an unexpected shift, transformation, and then boom, I'm ready. I'm ready to expand. I'm ready for more money. I'm ready to feel more valued and feel like I have more to offer the world. So fantastic. And that page of cuts could actually be you offering something, going, now I know I've got something to offer.
So that's also an, in, an another way of looking at it, which actually feels really good. So thank you so much for joining me, Aquarius. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and share if you think this will help. And please take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.